to have a continuous supply of fresh vegetables in late summer and early fall, we plant the late summer gardens in June and July. These gardens have the crops that love hot weather. They're not going to be as bothered by droughts and 95 degree days like some of the other crops. Sweet potatoes are planted the first week of June. I put lime on the field because there's a disease called scurf. It's a superficial black skin disease that'll get on the sweet potatoes if the soil is acidic. Putting lime on at the rate of a ton to the acre or 50 pounds to a thousand square foot will sweeten the soil up enough where the sweet potatoes will really thrive. We spread 40 loads of biodynamic compost on this garden. It's about an acre. That would be about a cubic yard or a cubic yard and a half for a thousand square foot garden or a coating of about a third of an inch. We plant the sweet potatoes in ridges that are four feet apart and we put the slips 16 inches apart in the row. If I plant them farther apart, like two foot apart, the sweet potatoes tend to get real big like giant footballs. So we plant them closer together so that they don't get much bigger than this. Nobody really wants a sweet potato much bigger than that anyway. The pepper patch is also planted the first week of June. With peppers and eggplants and sweet potatoes, I found that I can hoe them the whole field one less time simply by planting a few weeks later. If I plant them in early May, they just sit there waiting for the weather to get hot while all the weeds grow up. If I just wait a couple of weeks and do nothing, then I can plant and a so hot that the plants just grow so fast that they don't need to be hoed as much and of course that's a real benefit for us. Our favorite peppers are the Italian frying peppers, corno di toro, otherwise known as bullhorns. This one is Carmen and this one Escamilla and these are really good tasting peppers and they grow really well. We also grow cayennes like these here and we have jalapenos and then the yellow bells that we grow are a variety called gypsy. After the last pass with the cultivators in the pepper patch I put the hillers on and we hill them up to help hold them up and conserve moisture around the plant roots. Then we sprinkled a mulch of hay down. This also helps to preserve moisture so the peppers can just keep on putting out their peppers. And they'll do that until the first frost comes in the fall, at which time we'll harvest bushels and bushels of them and put them in a cool place where they'll store for four to six weeks. We count on peppers to be the star of our late summer gardens. The eggplant varieties we grow are Nadia, which is a black beauty type of uh, eggplant, big dark purple fruits. And then over here we have a slender Japanese Ichiban type of eggplant. These are Orient Express. Flea beetles are the real problem with growing eggplants. They're the little black beetles that make the holes in the leaves. But flea beetles aren't so bad in the summertime as they are in May. So we found that simply by planting later, we avoid that problem. Okra is another heat-loving late summer garden plant. I found that if I put the seeds in the ground in June, in five days the plant pops up. If I plant in May, it'll take 10 days or two weeks to sprout, and then that's the much more weeding I have to do. So we always wait and plant the okra at the same time we plant the peppers and the sweet potatoes. This variety is burgundy. It's a purple okra. And it has beautiful blooms. This bloom can tell you that okra is in the hibiscus family. This variety of okra is Clemson spineless. As soon as our beet crop comes out in mid-July, we plant 
another late summer garden. Here we have alternating rows of green beans and cucumbers. They're companion plants who like to grow next to each other. Over here we have a row of Jackson Wonder lima beans. That's always a good crop for the fall. And we have them between two rows of summer squash. This is an Italian heirloom called trombosini, or little trombone. They're used as a summer squash in the immature stage, and then as they uh, mature, they turn into these five foot long snake-like tan squashes that's, that can be used as a winter squash. They're sort of uh, like a butternut, they're in that family. Asparagus bean, is also known as the Chinese yard long beans. You can tell by the dark leathery foliage that these beans are in the cow pea family along with black eyed peas and crowders and purple hulls. They love hot weather and don't seem to be bothered by droughts or anything that happens in the summertime. These beans are eaten in the immature stage like you would a green bean. These climbing beans are a flat potted purple bean that we got from some neighbors of ours, Ed and Margaret. He brought me this bag of beans that he'd been saving for years and years. He was an old, older fellow and he handed it to me. It was like he was giving me his firstborn child or something. He's real proud of these beans. We really like them too. Our last late summer garden is where the potatoes were growing. So we pulled the potatoes out in the end of July and immediately planted more beans and cucumbers and summer squash. And also our favorite Shelly bean, Taylor's Dwarf Horticultural Bean. We simply call them October beans because that's the month that we sit on the porch and shell out our winter supply. October beans can also be eaten though in the green bean stage when they're like this, this big right here. They make a very good snap bean. This row of lima beans was planted a couple weeks after that other row and doesn't seem to be nearly as bothered by the bugs. Lima beans love the hot summer weather and all these crops are, are crops that just thrive. The hotter it is, the more they like it. Spring is for planting, but so is summer. We have to keep on planting during the summer so that we can have good food for our tables all year long. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.